Pope Francis is set to embark on a historic trip. His first since the coronavirus pandemic took over the globe. The Catholic leader is going to visit Iraq, making him the first Pope to ever do so. So how is Iraq preparing for his visit? Let's take a look. A historic visit from March 5th till 8th. The first Pope to visit the West Asian nation of Iraq. Pope Francis will begin the tour with a trip to the capital of Baghdad. And Mosul, the former stronghold of the Islamic State. The Pope will also visit the ruins of ancient Or in southern Iraq. This has been revered as the birthplace of Prophet Abraham, often known as the father of Judaism, Christianity and Islam. While Or was popular with Western visitors in the 1970s, it is scarcely visited today after decades of war. Archaeologists hope that the Pope's visit will change that, but the focus of the visit will be a meeting. A groundbreaking meeting with Iraq's top Shiite Muslim cleric. The Pope will meet Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani. It will be a private meeting, but a very significant one. It comes at a time when the country's Christian population is dwindling. While some fled after the US-led invasion, others left during the sectarian bloodshed. The last two decades have hollowed out Iraq's Christian community. A community which dates back to two millennia, Iraq's Christian community is one of the most diverse in the world. Featuring branches like Chaldean, Armenian, Orthodox and Protestant. In 2003, there were nearly 1.5 million Christians in Iraq, nearly 6% of the country's 25 million population. But as Iraq's population mushroomed, the number of minorities shrunk. Today, only 400,000 Christians remain. When I left Iraq, it was a very difficult decision to make. But I was forced to make it because of how sad I was about my country, which was turning into a place we couldn't live in. In Iraq's capital, a thriving Christian population has shrunk by almost 90%. Most of them migrated to neighboring nations. Others resettled in countries like the United States and Australia. Many fled to escape the war. When they returned, militia men had occupied their homes. Some even found that their homes had been secretly sold using fabricated deeds. Most of the Christians who left Iraq due to the sectarian situation and violence have left their homes under the protection of their neighbors, while others have closed their doors with the hope of returning after the situation stabilizes. Getting those homes back is a dizzying bureaucratic process, one that usually ends in failure. Mediation efforts often end in death threats and a rigged legal system favours the majority. We really hope that this visit will do something for Christians in Iraq. You know that we've suffered a lot, those who emigrated and those who were exiled. So God willing, the Pope will come and see the current reality in Iraq. We hope that after the Pope's visit, the situation of Christians will improve. The Pope's visit might put the spotlight on Iraq's Christians and their troubles but most of them remain cynical. They say the space for minorities is shrinking and there's very little that the Pope can do. West Asia Bureau, we on World is One.